Our main character is Jung, a big dreamer with lots of stories in his head who wants to make movies. But he's short on luck and money, and tired of struggling. Suddenly, he gets a call from a famous movie producer who wants to work with him. However, this producer is tough and not very kind. When Jung meets him, the producer is already upset with another writer for being late. Jung is in a similar situation because his story isn't ready. To avoid trouble, Jung apologizes and asks for more time. The producer gives him only four days and sends him away. Back home, Jung can't write anything good and keeps throwing away his work. During this tough time, he finds a package from his grandpa. Inside, there's a letter that he reads until he falls asleep. Then, something magical happens. In his dream, his grandpa tells him a secret story about gold hidden under their old house, which is now beneath a jail. When Jung wakes up, he discovers a map in the package that looks exactly like the jail. It seems the dream was pointing him to a hidden treasure in an unexpected place. So, what does Jung do since the treasure is inside a jail and he's never been in trouble before? He gets creative, steals his neighbor's laptop, and makes sure he gets caught. Next thing, he's in jail. But it's not all bad there. He finds a birthday party for Grab, someone who might remember Jung from before. Grab, another inmate, decides to be Jung's friend and offers to keep him safe in jail. Jung is trying to find where the treasure is hidden when he accidentally learns about the jail's social groups from another inmate. There are two main groups, one led by Grab, who is brave and kind, and the other by Bao, a name that scares even the toughest guys. Jeng says he doesn't want to join either group, but he doesn't get to choose. Bao's followers catch him and give him a scary welcome to show him Bao's power. Join them or be in trouble. They force him to drink tea that Bao spit into, a gross test that everyone hates. Just when Zheng is losing hope, Grab steps in and protects him from Bao. However, Bao gets back at them by planning a nasty trick involving cockroaches for Zheng's next meal. Things escalate when Grab stands up against something unfair, leading to a big fight. Afterward, Zheng is put on cleaning duty, which he sees as a chance to look for the treasure. With his cleaning tools, he searches for the old well that might lead to the gold, especially in the jail's library. But instead of finding peace, Bao and his group attack Zheng, leaving him hurt. When Grab realizes Zheng is missing, he knows Bao is behind it. Bao offers to tell where Zheng is if Grab does something embarrassing. Drink tea Bao has spoiled. Grab, desperate to help Zheng, agrees. Bao then tells him Zheng is trapped in a bin, in danger of dying, and covered with plastic. Grab and his friends rescue Zheng just in time, strengthening their friendship and their resolve to fight back against Bao. Now, Zheng wants to find the treasure not just for the wealth, but also to stand up to Bao's bullying. Zheng only cares about finding the gold hidden inside the jail. He thinks if he can cause a fight between the two biggest groups in jail, he can use the chaos to go find his treasure. Right on time, a big fight starts, making the guards rush to stop it. During the mess, Zheng quickly takes the keys to the storage room from a guard who isn't paying attention, but things don't go as planned. Before Zheng can use the keys to get to the gold, Bao and his friends stop him, ruining his plan. After this, Zheng, Grab, and Bao are put in separate rooms, which stops Zheng's search for the gold. Upset, Zheng gets mad at Grab, saying he's made things worse since they met. This hurts Grab, who thought of Zheng as a friend. Then, Grab talks about his past and a friend he also named Zheng, who saved his life from bad guys. This story shows why Grab is so protective. He promised to look after others in honor of his friend. Hearing this, Zheng shares his real reason for being in jail, to find his family's gold. Grab believes him and offers to help without wanting anything back. They come up with a careful plan. The first part is to make a guard have an allergic reaction with a special chemical, creating a perfect distraction. When the guard needs medical help, Grab puts on the guard's uniform as part of their plan. Dressed like guards, they find a new jail map that shows the gold is now in the laundry room, full of hope and needing to find the gold. They rush there. They find a wall that's hiding something. Sure, the gold is behind it. They break the wall and find an old, empty space. Just when they're about to give up, Grab finds a stick. This stick turns out to be the key to a secret spot that opens to show many gold bars. Seeing the gold, Zheng feels like all his problems are solved. He wants to share the gold with Grab, but Grab says no, telling Zheng it's his win. They hide the gold in the laundry, 
mixing it with clothes that are going out of the jail, planning for Jung to leave with it. Jung is so thankful he talks about opening a restaurant with Grab after they're out. But then Bao starts a fight, and during the mess, the gold gets revealed. As the guards come in, Bao surprisingly helps Jung by saying the fight was over something else. Jung and Grab are at a tough spot, feeling the strain of tough choices and the attraction of gold. When Jung seems to get closer to Bao, his old enemy, Grab feels left out and thinks his efforts are going unnoticed. He feels that Jung cares more about the gold than their friendship, so he decides to end their friendship. Then, Grab gets shocking news that his daughter is sick and needs surgery soon. This makes him realize that family is more important than gold. He asks Zheng for help, not to share the gold, but to escape from jail and be with his daughter. There's a party in the jail that gives them a good chance to escape through an old tunnel. This plan is risky, but they are hopeful. Zheng, however, is stuck deciding whether to stay for his soon-to-happen release or to run away with the gold. He chooses to fight with Bao, which gets him more time in jail, but also lines up with Grab's escape plan. During the jail party, Zheng and Bao create a big distraction with chlorine gas bubbles set on fire, drawing all the attention away from the warden's speech. Their escape route is through a tunnel that leads to a door opening to the ocean. The guards figure out the escape plan when they notice the chaos was all a plan by the missing inmates. In a bold and desperate move, the escapees blow open the door facing the sea. Bao, wanting the gold for himself, decides to turn on Zheng and Grab. He plans to take the gold and get rid of them, but things don't go as planned. When Bao tries to hurt them, Zheng protects Grab and gets hurt instead. They try hard to defend themselves against Bao, who is tough to beat. In a tough moment, Grab tries to give Bao the gold, asking him to spare their lives. But Bao is too angry and tries to throw Grab into the sea. But Grab doesn't end up in the water. He grabs a rope, and Zheng, holding the other end, pulls him to safety. This saves Grab and helps them beat Bao, who then falls into the sea. After dealing with Bao, they have to face the outcome of their escape attempt. The guards catch them, and they get more time in jail. However, there's good news. Grab's daughter has the surgery she needs and gets better. The government finds out the gold really belongs to Jung's grandfather, so Jung gets to keep it. The story ends on a positive note. Jung, now rich, starts making movies from his stories. He and Grab also open a restaurant, starting a new life together as friends who have gone through a lot.